as we're flying, you know, you're you're up with the drone and you're you're using the thermal camera to just monitor for wolf presence near the cattle. If you detect a wolf near the cattle, that's when the drone will uh, descend and come down on down towards the wolf, and we will do three different attempts to move the wolf off. The first wolf um, that he did encounter, we I was out there with him. Um, he dropped down, started to come in on it, and what you see in the video is the wolf started to play bow and wanted to play with the drone. Flew the drone back, switched out the battery, put a new camera on, or put the uh, speaker on, excuse me. Um, and then when he flew back to that same wolf, he yelled at it, uh, live voice, just saying, hey, wolf, get out of here. That animal immediately turned and ran for the wood line. And so what we were seeing is that the human voice was the strongest response out of all the other sounds that we were playing. And this is a new tool that we're adding to our toolbox. We did coexist for many years. Wolves were in California. They were within close proximity. They didn't bother the cattle. But what I have really witnessed is our deer numbers are way down. So they're going to basically go after cattle. I don't think we're going to be able to just use drones at some point, the wolves are going to figure out, yeah, that thing makes a lot of noise, but I'm still hungry and I still want to take down this, this yearling or whatever it is they're going after. We killed them off, just like settlers did everywhere across the lower 48. Uh, at one time, there were an estimated 2 million wolves ranging across all of North America. The, nature is a tapestry, and by taking wolves out, we have unraveled some of those threads. And by putting wolves back, we are allowing those threads to weave themselves back and have a more whole and resilient wild nature.